This industry is not about selling houses. This industry is about looking after people's welfare, their investment, their home. It's a service industry. Uh, started working in Melbourne as the mail boy at Jet Set Tours, progressed through roles there into an airline reservation position as a supervisor at 19. That was looking after 60 staff with Compass Airlines. First airline deregulation and then decided by that experience that I'd like to become a flight attendant, cabin crew, and got into ANSET at the age of 20. I spent many, many years in Sydney and then transferred to Cairns where I bought my first home. But that week was pretty interesting because my mortgage was approved on Monday, September 11 was Tuesday uh, with the Twin Towers and ANSET collapsed on the Friday. So I was four days in with my approval on my mortgage to get my first home. Naturally, being a homeowner and having to pay for that mortgage, I had to get a job and a random opportunity came up by virtue of, of, of a few different events and I ended up moving and living in East Timor for a year. Then moving into a role working for the Qatar Royal Family, I was invited to work on board their aircraft as a VIP flight attendant. We looked after some pretty demanding people, so I'm confident I can look after anyone because I feel like I've served at the highest level. I actually fell into real estate by chance um, because I'd returned to Australia for another flying job. That airline closed four weeks after returning to Australia. I didn't have a plan B. 14 years later, I'm still in the industry and love the industry. I love what this industry does for families, for individuals and people. I, I think, there's, I think there's, many, there's many peaks in your real estate career where you have these defining moments where you're just high-fiving someone, you get, you've got a great outcome, and those little pieces, as you work through real estate, the addiction starts of being, of being in that role of fulfilling their needs, and, and that's what drives you. I get a kick out of negotiating. I get an absolute buzz from negotiations. When I get back in the car, and the deal is done, and I turn that music on, or whatever, have my own moment, I just have a bit of a cheer to myself. Those moments, they give me a big kick. That drives me. Drives me because I know that I've got the right outcome, and I know that everyone's absolutely buzzed about it. What's always held me back from doing this, on my own, was purely because I'd have to do absolutely everything, and I don't think you can wear all hats in business. Dan and his team at Urban X, they allow me to just stay focused on clients and not have to be concerned about what's gonna happen at the back end to do with trust accounting and solicitors. They provide those services, which is incredibly important, but I'm not good at it. They're better at it, and it's good to have sounding boards. That's really good. I like to have a laugh with clients. I like to actually, I like to keep it real. Um, I'm sitting, generally I'm sitting in their kitchen. I'm sitting at their dining table. They're feeding the kids. It's 7.30 at night. We're making big decisions. They might offer me a glass of wine. That's always nice. You're there to get the job done. But, but if you can do that in a way that you've actually got great service, great rapport with clients, good rapport with the buyers, and you get a great outcome, and you're still everyone's friend, that's a bonus. That's, that's really awesome. You, you know that when someone is really happy with you and you're changing their life, what you've done is you've actually helped them change their life, that chapter, that moment. That's a real kick. When you know that you've been, you've been an integral part of that decision making, that moment, moving on to the next chapter. That's pretty cool. I believe our business is gonna attract people who are looking for a home, not just a house. They're gonna know that we provide the service for you to find your next home, whether it be a family home, a forever home, a first home, whatever that be. Our client is gonna be looking for an agent who is able to provide exemplary service, be a very, very strong and clear negotiator, and at the end, love the outcome.